Hello and welcome to Indus News coming to you live from Lahore. I am Muneeb Hamid and these are the headlines. We start from Iran, which has refused to hold any negotiations with the US unless it takes steps to de-escalate. In a statement, President Hassan Rouhani said the present conditions only allow for resistance. Earlier, Trump said Tehran will have to take the first step if it wants to negotiate. Iran says it has quadrupled its production of enriched uranium, but it is still within the limits set by the 2015 nuclear deal with world powers. Moving on, the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development has said the US-China trade war is weakening global economic growth. It urged the world's two biggest economies to resolve their trade row to help the world economy. In its biannual economic outlook, the OECD said the global economy would grow by 3.2% this year. In another development, India's main opposition parties have alleged voting fraud in the country's general election. Members of 22 parties said the Election Commission must ensure voting machines were not manipulated. The Election Commission claimed that the voting machines were absolutely safe. Sudan's main protest group has called for a general strike after talks on an agreed three-year transition with the military stalled. An alliance of protesters is demanding that civilians should dominate a new sovereign council to oversee the transition period. And in the NBA, the Golden State Warriors have swept their way into the finals after defeating the Portland Trailblazers by four games to nil. In a thrilling contest, the Warriors edged the Trailblazers in overtime by 119 points to 117.